This was a trial that was presented last year at this ASCO meeting and uh, basically included patients with both HPV positive and negative disease uh, and combined cabozantinib, which is a VEGF TKI, with uh, the standard of care uh, of a single agent pembrolizumab. And what we found is that the study was um, I mean, the combination was fairly well tolerated, um, and as indicated, the responses were uh, generous, and uh, the progression-free survival and uh, overall survival data was also fairly encouraging. Uh, I think the question is, are all these VEGF TKIs created equal? Uh, and I think uh, it's important to dwell more into the mechanism of action of each one of these agents. Certainly VEGF plays a major role, but I think cabozantinib also does target other uh, pathways, specifically immune-related pathways, uh, including the TAM, um, uh, uh, the TAM uh, receptors uh, as well as uh, MER uh, and other, uh, other immune-related um, elements, which we have not really studied much in, in, uh, in any tumor type, actually. And so it's, it would be important to really figure out how much of the combination of PD-1 with uh, cabozantinib, cabozantinib specifically uh, is really triggered by these immunomodulatory aspects that cabozantinib is, is producing uh, and whether this uh, will cut across all the VEGF TKIs or certain VEGF TKIs. I think that would be fascinating to look at.